Hey guys, and welcome to Draw My Life, Dylan Stone style. Woo! So of course, my name is Dylan Stone, and most of you probably already know my birth name, so I'm probably not going to mention it. I grew up in a small town called Brooks, Alberta, and uh, it's a big city now, but it was a small town when I lived there. We lived in a house trailer, and it was small, but I loved it so much. I don't remember much memories of it though. So I lived with my dad, my mom, my sister, and my cat Eeyore. She was the best cat ever. She was practically there the day I was born. <laughs> she was born when I was born. I think. I don't know. But yeah. So oh, look at my crappy johns. <laughs> don't mind them. So yeah, this is my cat Eeyore. Woo! Oh, and I think I forgot to mention that uh, my cat, my pet, my cat Eeyore actually passed away a couple of years ago, so, sorry. <laughs> 2000, and this 2000, I moved to Barhead, Alberta, uh, and quick climax change, that's for sure. Um, I was four years old when I moved, and, uh, you know, it wasn't the most enjoyable move, but I can't really remember it. In 2001, I started kindergarten, woo! Yay. <laughs> I met my best friend, Jenna, there. And let's just say the first time we met was crying in the corner. Just the two of us. Yep. Best years of our lives. <laughs> so yeah. We had had to get someone to drag us out of there. Grades 1 to 6, I wore a lot of black. So it's called monster, gothic, emo, along those lines. And so people, kids around me, wouldn't know what to do. A lot of kids were afraid of me, and they didn't want to have anything to do with me. I made one guy cry, but that's another story for another day. <laughs> In 2008, I, um, grade 6, my grandfather on my mom's side, which is her dad, had passed away. And I was in shock, and I didn't really cry, because I didn't think this was actually happening. Of course, inside, I was really sad. But I didn't know this was actually happening, it was like a shocker. It's been six years now since he's been gone. A couple of months later, my parents decided to separate. And of course, it wasn't the best choice because I was still young. But they were going to do it actually later, uh, sooner. But, you know, didn't want to hurt us. Of course, I chose my mom's side because she's been there for, my, for me the, my whole entire life and my dad's been always working and hasn't been there always. He's missed a lot of birthdays and stuff. Junior high, woo! Grade 7, I started dating, woo. It was like an on off relationship, so it's kind of stupid. For this boy, I changed everything. I stopped wearing black, I stopped beating up people. That sounds pretty messed up, but for me it is. Uh, I wore my hair in pigtails, ponytails, I wore a lot of pink, but I knew inside that it wasn't me and I couldn't stand it anymore. Boys. <laughs> so in grade 8, the summer of it, which means eight, so in grade 8 to 9, I started to be transgender. And a lot of people are asking, well, what do you mean? Well, the only person who actually was there for me at first, you know, telling parents is hard. But my mom was always there, and she was there for me all the time. And even when I was having a rough day, she always made the best decisions. My dad, on the other hand, is still getting used to it and doesn't know the right words to say. And it's pretty harsh what he says. But he doesn't know it. But let's keep that a secret from me. Grade 10. Oh, the worst year ever. No one called me by my pronouns. I was never called by the name I wanted to be. And being accepted uh, wasn't even in the picture. And I was absent for so many days. A depression hit me hard when I, was, when I was in grade 10. And boy, did I feel horrible. Of course, I used to cut myself, I don't do it anymore, and I have thought of suicide. And it was really hard in grade 10, so I've been ab I was so absent and missed so much school, I'm surprised I even passed grade 10. But the one thing that kept me going, and the one thing that stopped me from, do from 
doing suicide was the first person who I ever met in my entire life. My best friend, Jenna. She's been always there from the very beginning. And yes, I have my other friends and they have done lots of things, but it's because of the friendship that I have with my friend, Jenna. It's just, she's been there for me. And we can talk to each other about anything. It doesn't matter what the topic is. And she's always been there and I thank her for everything she's done. Grade 11, the year I'm in now. Yay, it's actually the best year ever. I. I found lots of new friends, I have pronouns are being called, I'm being called by my name, and bullying, yes, it has, it's becoming, but you know what, screw you, bullies, I don't care, because this is what my channel is basically about, is to help other people. So yeah, grade 11 is doing well. And of course, my grades are going way up, I'm surprised, like it's a shocker, like holy crap, what's going on? <laughs> and absences? Goodbye you, because I have an absence for one day, and I'm getting sent for my exam for that. Woo. So, YouTube. Yeah, a lot of YouTube stars are, like, they have everything on YouTube, and me, this, YouTube is a place where you feel free, and it's where I started to my full, and helped me and you, and, <laughs> and, you know, that's what my channel is all about. I help people, I give advice, and... You know, I meet other people and I talk to you guys and it's really awesome and I used to be so excited about 3 subscribers but now I'm at 32. Look at that drastic change. Like, I know a lot of people are like 100 subscribers but 32 is good. You guys are the main part of it and you know, I'm not a famous YouTube star but you know, you guys are a part of it. You have helped me so much <laughs> and even though you hate it out there, I don't care, you know. So please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel to see more videos, and and thank you, and enjoy everything that's going to happen. You're on my journey to this whole entire life, and I thank you for all the support you've given me throughout this entire lifetime I've had on YouTube, but always remember, life does get better even though it's shitty as hell at some point. So I hope to see you guys soon, and I'll see you guys next week. Love, Dylan Stone.